So, oh, discombobulated. <clears throat> Please check out my Star Trek Next Generation recaps on Fridays. Please check out my If Then episodes on Friday. And uh, don't forget to please check out Flashback Mondays, um, where I talk about all the books in Romantic Times Book Review Magazine. Sometimes I get carried away and do 70 or 80. My pal's here. So, and also check out my daily book reviews. We have finished up Julie McQuain's Time series. We have finished up Victoria Thompson's uh, Gaslight series. We're going to be starting the... Uh, this isn't the first one, but it's over there. Uh, C.S. Harris series. We're going to be starting that one. But uh, today we are on book 20 of Alex Cross. And it's Alex Cross Run. And I have no idea what this... Uh, I have no idea how the title relates. But... Um, we have there, I will not spoil the ending, but I will tell you everything else. Um, it's, there is a sad family element in this book. Really sad, really depressing. Um, maybe because of Alex, he was so busy with this case and he was a little negative with Ava. He wasn't. He wasn't being more positive with her. He, she was a runaway or a street kid, and they took her in and they had cared for her, and the family had gotten to know her and were treating her like family. But they had a school lottery, and I don't like those. I don't think it's fair, but they did a school lottery. And um, the one kid was chosen, and Ava was not, and that hurt Ava's feelings quite a bit. And she was dealing with some personal issues, but Alex was really, really busy with his case. So he wasn't home much. And I think that had a little factor in doing it, or at least that's what Patterson uh, insinuated, possibly. So you'll have to read it for yourself to make your own opinions. But um, also, we have three... Serial killers here. Uh, two are working together and then apart. They do some stuff together. They do some stuff apart. And there's a third one from the past who is also working on getting Alex Cross. And he has a personal stake in this. And he approaches Alex several times in the book. And it just takes Alex a little bit to put it together he also gets suspended for a couple of days and um, put on desk duty because the stuff that goes down um it's it, it's a lot um it's a it's not didn't take all that long um two hours little but two hours a little less than two hours because i had to stop um and watch a video of a friend's but um uh not that was basically it. You had the two serial killers who were killing a lot. There's an awful lot of killing in this book. Tremendous amount of killing of young ladies. Um, some of them, um, you know, professional escort type situations. Some young kids, men, boys and girls were getting killed. Uh, and it, it was really depressing how many kids were getting killed. And... The st and then the stuff with the personal thing with that guy coming after Alex, but he was, um, you know, doing surveillance and stuff and doing his own type of killing. And then we also, we have a cat fight. Sorry. If I had the technology, I would show you the cat fight, but I can't show you the cat fight. Um, but... Then we also have the personal stuff going on with Alex and his family. And his family gets angry. I mean, they've gotten angry with him in the past. Even Bree has gotten angry with him in the past. How he's always chosen the job first. And he needs to choose his family first. Yes, I know it's plot line. Yes, I know it's reality. Lots and lots of cops out there give up 
personal time with their families for the job. A lot of them do it. I'd say most of them do it. But um, it's, sometimes it's not fair to the families. Uh, I'm sure firefighters do the same thing. I'm sure the doctors out there that, that are on call get called away from family events too. I'm, I'm sure there are several occupations where people get called away from home to attend an emergency situation. But um, it seems that they get, they're calling Alex a lot. And Alex is always putting the case first. And he tries to, even the last book, Merry Christmas, Alex Cross, where he missed most of Christmas with his family because of the case. And that was kind of unfair to his family. But he was doing his job. So he's more, he's more cop than shrink now. He had played cop, then he played FBI agent, then he played shrink. Now he's back to cop again. So we'll see how that goes. But um, this is book 20. And like I said, you had your two serial killers. And then you had the other guy that was working alone that had a personal grudge against Alex and had a personal stake in it. And then you had the two guys killing together and separately. But they were killing multiple times. And I will say that the book does have a sad ending. And I hope you will join me in a couple of days for book 21, Cross My Heart. So we'll see what happens. If you could please hit the like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Uh, it's just, you know, what you see is what you get with me in, these, in my video. Uh, no special lighting, no special audio. Uh, no special effects at all. It's just me talking books. So let me go break up a cat fight and have a good day. Thank you.